Hey guys and welcome back. I know it's been a very long time since I last posted and I apologize. I don't have a good excuse. I really don't. I just, uh, I don't have an excuse. But I'm posting this week, obviously. I know it's not Tuesday. That's actually because I've tried to record like three videos and they've all been failures. So it's Wednesday and I'm filming the fourth video. Hopefully this turns out. Fun fact is, I have been trying to do this video, I was planning on doing this video for like a week now, and then I just decided I probably wasn't going to get done because I just, I didn't have time. So I threw all the, like, I'm going to show you, um, it's a spring break haul, so I'm going to show you part of my stuff I got for spring break. So like I threw a couple of the bags away, so I actually literally just dug through my trash in my room to get the bags back out because I told myself I wasn't doing this video, and now here I am doing this video. So I hope you all enjoy, and I hope it works and it turns out but today I'm gonna to be showing you a desk slash vanity tour and a spring break haul because it all kind of goes together okay I'll explain but I just wanted to say that I am going to get really hard back on doing videos I've got two weeks of school left I got the rest of this week next week and then finals and I only have two finals so It'll be summer. I'm gonna post, 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 post. Me and Sydney just talked about getting more serious because we're not very serious with this. So we're gonna get more serious starting this summer. Hopefully we start posting more. Yeah. Okay, so let me stop talking and let's get into this video. Okay, before we start, I'm gonna tell you that I got this whole vanity slash desk thing from Ikea. And I went down to Okay, so my spring break is the first week of March. So, obviously I did nothing. It was like snowing and cold and like boring. Because I, you know, like, I don't got really friends in college. And the one friend that I'm actually really close with was actually going to like, I don't know, somewhere warm. Like some island. So, left me here by myself. Nobody else is on spring break. So, I ended up kissing my mom for her and I to go down to Indy for the weekend. I had to pay for the hotel, and let me tell you, no. I might have a clip I can insert. That's another thing, okay? I vlogged my weekend in Indy for spring break, and, like, none of the videos will load on my phone. Like, you know, like, got, like, the whole the thing in iCloud. Yeah, I did that, so I can't get the videos from my phone to my computer, so that's really annoying. So, I had a whole vlog, and it was a good vlog, too, of my time in Indy, but, like, whatever, that's long gone. Where was I? Okay, so then I got, I kind of got the vanity desk thing. Then, Sedge and Spring Break was the first week of April, so I did stuff with her as well. We went down to Ikea again, where I kind of got this, and we also went shopping a, like a day or two, and I also went shopping with my mom down in Indy. Um, and I don't think I have a picture, but when we were down in Indy for my spring break, I bought um, my niece Stella, who will be born in July, a cute little outfit. And it was like my aunt is my bestie, and I got her some little blue jean shorts and these cute little sandals that matched her shirt. It was so, so cute, but I don't think I took a picture of it, and I already gave it to my sister-in-law, so I can't show you that. But let me tell you, it was cute. It was cute. But I think now we can actually get into the video in the video. So let's start this tour part. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is what's on top of my desk. So starting over here, this is actually a candle melter. Like you can put like small stuff and it turn on and melts it. But it also collects my earrings. When I take my earrings off, it's easy to just like throw them in there. So that's actually what I use that for. And then this is just a baseball. This is a champagne toast scented candle. It's rose gold. I love rose gold. I also thought smart really good. I got it for Christmas. This, you actually might recognize from my New Year's resolution video. This was actually the jar I made to put the little notes in. But I just started putting loose change. I have this picture of me and my brothers when we were younger. Then I have this little card I got from 
vacation a couple years back. I'm like, don't worry, your pretty little head, act your age, try to fit in. Do something with your hair, cheer up, like just like little encouragement things. And then just some pens and this from when we go on vacation. So that just sits here. This is a cross from when we first started going to our church for Advent week. Like they gave out each thing. I'm missing a couple, but I kept that. And then this is a little heart. Um, when my cousin passed away, we were all given a bag and it had two hearts in it and one you could like kiss and like say something to and then you, we put it in the casket with her and then we kept the other one so that's what that is that's just lotion a mirror this is also like part vanity but it's kind of far back so if i put a mirror here it'd be kind of hard to see so i have this little mirror these are birthday flowers from my padre he got them for my birthday and they're a little eaten because my cat likes to eat them, so it's kind of annoying. That's a card from Sunday school. This is sand and shells from Galveston Island, Texas, when I went there for spring bowling year. Spring break last year, and I got to visit my cousin who's stationed in Texas. This is sand from what's it called? New Smyrna Beach in Florida. We went there. We went there when I was in fifth grade, and me and my mom and dad went down to the beach the night before we left and collected sand. And this is just a little, it's actually a pitcher I get from Ikea, but um, I was going to put like, some flowers in it or something, but I don't have anything to put in there yet. And then obviously my computer, because it is a desk, so I do my homework here, my computer and my charger. Then this is the chair I got, so I can move it out of the way. I got this from Ikea, and this is a pillow I got from Walmart, and I really like it. Nice and fluffy, and it's reversible. You can do pink with the rose gold polka dots, or pink with the rose gold and it's a smile. So let's get this out of here. So now we're going to move up the wall a bit. And these... So, I'm actually very proud of myself because I put these up here on the wall all by myself. I use hot glue to glue them on because they like peel right back off and that's just what I use to stick them. It's a little, it's like battery powered so you just turn them on and off. That stays there. Oh. But I just like put all these pictures up and now that I have a different thing, like you can see where my old one was, I'm going to go back through and put put more pictures down um can y'all see this one over here then over here this is actually a picture of me and my cousin jamie and i don't know why i love that picture so much she like she looks like she's dying in it and then i'm just like staring her awkwardly then this um my cousin jamie also made me it's got an owl because i love owls and then a flag and rifle for color guard. And this is a picture of the marching band my sophomore year, the year we won state. Just a whole group picture. But here, I'm going to zoom in on this picture. Because oh, honestly, I love it so much. Can you see that? See those faces? I think it's so cute. But then here is the rest of my pictures okay so now these side cabinets which anyone that has a drawer like this is um supposed to be like one of them like drawers that like fit here and they just like pull out you know like them like soft cushiony ones but okay fun fact story real quick so we went to Ikea during my spring break. We went through. I found this. Um, my parents' idea was that if I wasn't like 100% sure I wanted to get this, to sleep on it and I could come back and get it the next day. So I did that. The next day I decided, yes, this is something I want. So we go through the store and write all the numbers down. Like, if you've never been to Ikea, it's like write all your numbers down for like every individual piece. 
So we did that. Then we go to like the warehouse part to buy the thing. And this whole thing was like they were out of stock. So all I got was this tabletop, the two legs, and the chair. That's all I got during my spring break. Because my parents were supposed to be down in Indy the following weekend for a doctor's appointment. And they were going to pick up the rest there. Well, like, the guy's, like, the doctor's wife or something went to labor. So they didn't end up going down to Indy. So I had to wait until such a spring break where I was able to get the rest of this. Well, two trips to Ikea. And both times they were sold out of the drawer. So I decided that instead of wait spending more money on ones I didn't like as much, I would just wait and we could check back to Ikea another time. Or go like to Walmart and see if we find any. Well, I just, I haven't went to Walmart to look for any. So these are the drawers from my old vanity. Which it really stinks because like I can't like pull them because it like scratches the paint. But it works. So we're just going to... Go over these real quick so up here is all my extra like body lotions and hand sanitizer and that's gonna fall again okay it's just all extra perfume like all that extra stuff that i don't use right now then this is um danielle's makeup kit so i just put that there then moving over to here on this side i have this which such a made me and some little flowers that used to be like around my vanity. This candle that smells so good. Sedging got for me for my birthday. And then some more lights so I can do more here. And I'm going to use the other two to go across the wall over there. Just for some more lights. Coming down to this one is a drawer of all my hair stuff. So I have my curlers, my straighteners, hair ties. I think this is hair ties as well. Yeah, hair ties that looks in that drawer just hair stuff and these are some extra part parts to the vanity desk thing because i don't know if i need them yet i don't know i put this also fun fact i put this all together by myself pretty very, very proud of myself okay so back here in this far one on this side i have my bible and a couple devotional books and then i have all my current body lotions soaps um perfumes body spray stuff any of my current stuff and can you get can y'all see a pattern here like what's my favorite color rose gold if it's not obvious so i just have like all the curtains it's probably like from here over is my current stuff i'm using like right now and then up here at the top this is a sign i got for graduation and these are more flowers that were on my vanity, old vanity. This is a candle from Vera Bradley, which I got last year. I didn't even know Vera Bradley had candles, but I am in love with it. That's probably, that one and the champagne toast are the ones I use the most because they're so, they smell so good. Then these are just more lights. And I don't know if y'all can see this, this candle back here, but it's silver and gold. I'm actually going to paint it rose gold. Duh. But to match but it's a candle we found in storage unit so it was free because already he already owned it but it's like brand new to me and then this right here which i'll just bring it to you as all the lights fall this is a bottle of sand shells water it used to look a lot nicer when we first did it from Galveston Island, Texas. Me and my cousin made these. And I think I put too much sand in. Cause like, but it used to be like no matter how much you shook it, the shells were still always on top. But it's not quite the case anymore. Okay, so this is the hard part to put the tripod in like all that. But it's a little messy closet. But this, I can still shine the light, I guess. This is the other side of the um shelves i made it so that i can come to this side to get stuff because it kind of helps but over here is like all my hair stuff so i have like these are my new shampoos i got for my birthday shampoo and conditioner and i love that stuff so much this helps with my don't look over there that's a mess this helps with my um hair because it gets really frizzy a lot so that helps this 
It's Mirror Shine. I don't use that very often. Some hairspray, heat protectant, another anti frizz thing. So it just helps. And my hairbrush because I use my hairbrush a lot. Then this I can just get into my hair products a lot of these like hair tools not quickly. Then oh up here I mean you can just you guys can see that's all my extra stuff. Um then down here is like deodorant, nail polish, some more lotion, such you got me back for my birthday. Some of the body sprays I don't use currently. And these are some Starbucks cups I got at the hotel when I went down for spring break. They had them in our rooms and I was just like, girl, who doesn't want some Starbucks cups? So I just took them. Then moving down to here. These are my jewelry boxes. I don't really keep jewelry in there that much. But them up. they're very dusty. But I guess here's some jewelry. Those are some hair ties. But what ifs? Um, over here, this is where I keep all my school stuff. I know it's a mess, but is um these four bottom drawers are all gonna have like the drawery things. So I just have a bunch of children's books because if you don't know, I'm doing elementary education, so I use a lot of books for like um lesson plans and all of that. Just um my school textbooks and binders and all that all that crap. Um moving out of here, this is all my makeup have this is my old mirror and this is another mirror that's down here um mary Kay stuff and then if you pull this out this is all the makeup and i am such a guy this for my birthday and i'm so thankful for it because she knows how bad i wanted it and she got it for me and that's just a true friend girl so then it's, yeah it's just like kind of a mess Moving on to this last one. This is like my Bible, my Bible journaling stuff. So, I like craft stuff in general. So, like here's some glue sticks or like hot glue sticks. The hot glue gun. The box my Bible journaling. This, if you don't know, is my bag of stuff full of Bible journaling. I got some gel pens in here. Just a bit of anything I use for crafts, basically. So, back to this set. I'm just going to give a quick, like, quick, like, little video so that's see you can get those back ones from the front but it's on the desk part so it's easier to go to the back so now i'm going to show you the clothing haul i guess part i'm not going to try on i'm just going to do clothing haul but if you like to see a spring lookbook slash like like what to wear in the spring um give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and i would love to do a video like that but this first one um is from walmart i don't have a bag no more but so we went to one walmart in indy and i got like a shawy one but um it was like not like ripped but there was like a lot of strings hanging like that weren't supposed to be hanging so then on our way home from indy we stopped like probably about halfway home and ex we're going to exchange it for a different one like a one that wasn't all like scratched up i guess and i found this one and love this one more and um my mom convinced me by like i was spending the time at the lake or like outside at the pool this is like more like t-shirt material and probably nicer for like running around the lake or the pool and all that than the other one which was more like 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 this C material like I don't know, I'll show you that in a minute but it's more like that material but I love this one I love 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 this one um one because it's got a pineapple and I like this part like the cut and all that it's just I love it so much and it's super cozy and it's like it goes long enough so it's kind of like you're wearing nothing like if you like walk like at the lake a lot they walk down the like the little like for the parade like where you go for the parade and all that or like the fishing tournament like I can still wear this and be covered yeah so I really like this and this was only like $13 
So this for $13 is amazing. I don't care what y'all think about Walmart because Walmart's got some cute stuff. The next I went to Tord and this was with Sejin and I got an amazing deal. Like I don't know how it's possible but they had buy one get one 50% off plus it was in April so my birthday month so I got $10 off. So this is the first thing and I absolutely love this. It's over la like last weekend I went to West Virginia for a Bells conference because I play Bells at church and Saturday night after the con, like I wore this Saturday, and then after the concert on Saturday, we went to dinner as a group, and I was handed my plate of food, and as I was trying to slide across the table, the little, the little cup thingy, said you knows what it's called, like the little, the sauce cup, the ketchup spilt right here on my lap, so it got ketchup all over it, but yes, that was actually the night they celebrated my birthday, but it's just like, this it's like a long cardigan cardigan what do they call it? like a shawl like a komodo that's the word but right there right there's where the ketchup stain this stain I haven't washed it yet. this is where the ketchup was but it's just like so nice like it's nice and like flowy and I just love it and I love the front half like open and shorter so it's just like super nice and I forget how much that was, but I think I got two things from um, Torrid, and it was about 50 bucks, if that helps explain anything. The next thing from Torrid, I also love this a lot. It's very summery, springy, but is this, and it's got like the sleeve over here like this. And it's just, it's super cute and super comfy. And I like love the feeling of this fabric. It's just like soft. So I think it's really cute and very perfect for summer. Then the next place I went, this is also a segment. We went to Carson's and I got this shirt. And this, let's see, come here, see here. This shirt was originally $48 taxes I paid about $21 for it but as I was getting this ready I also wore this the other day and I realized it has something on the front so just disregard I hope it doesn't stain but it's just like this super cute flowy and like down here like at the bottom half it's got like this liner so it's not see-through but then up here it's like very open and like lacy like you can see your skin but I just love it so much and so comfortable. Like you can wear it for summer, but you can also dress it up. And it's more like professionally looking. I just, I really love it. Love it, love it, love it. The last place I went, this was with my mom when I was in Indy. The first week of March for my spring break. Now I have another shirt and it must be in the wash because I don't know where it's at. But it's very like yellow, flowery. I might have a picture I can probably insert. But then this other shirt, oh my gosh, it's literally perfect, okay? So I wasn't sure if I should get it or not, like, get anything from, oh, Old Navy's in store, in case you wondering. But, like, I was looking, like, they were having a big sale, and I was, like, looking at everything, and I was, like, there's so much I wanted, but, like, I didn't want to spend money, but I found the shirt, and the minute I read it, girl, I told my mom, it's a sign, I have to buy it, okay? So it's just, like, where is it? A t-shirt and it was about $17 but it's just a t-shirt like this t-shirt okay but it says follow the Sun do you get it follow the Sun if you don't get it you probably think I'm stupid but one Direction. Y'all, you know, you're like, One Direction? Girl, get over them. Heck no. Okay. When I read this, it was a sign to get it because it's a One Direction lyric, you know? Escape from the city and follow the sign. Girl. It was a sign. I had to buy it then. And it's super cute. It's like a fancier t-shirt, but 
I love it. Mainly for the lyric part, but it's all good. It's all good. Also, I feel like I've changed my room up a bit. Um, if you'd like to see, um, cause you know how I said my room is very cluttery and I need to figure stuff out. I've been figuring stuff out and I think it's, there's a little bit of clutter left, but I almost got it. I got my new bed spread and yeah, that was their new, I feel like the stuff has just changed a little bit. So if you'd like an updated room tour, um, comment down below and I'll give you guys that. We also changed the YouTube space. It's no longer YouTube space. So if you want an updated, um, updated uh, tour of that, I'd love to give that to you as well. And closet tour, I could give a closet tour. I have this closet plus um, a closet in the other room. So I can give you guys a closet tour. Um, that'd be fun. So if you want any kind of tours, comment down below and I would love to show you guys. Um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. Also, comment down below, again, like I just said, if you want a new updated room tour, a closet tour, a backstairs tour, a any tour you could think about, I would love to give it to you guys. Also, comment any video request down below for me, Sejin, or both me and Sejin for our video together. We need lots of ideas because it's summer and we're just going to be recording, 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 so it'd be helpful to have video ideas. Also, hit the notification bell to be notified when we post because obviously I say I post on Tuesdays and it's Thursday. I know. So turn your notification bell on to be notified when we post. That'll help set and post. I think it's Fridays and Saturdays and we post together Sundays. But it's never at the same time. So again, turn your notification bell on to be notified when we post. And May 4th is our one year anniversary on YouTube. So it'd be very exciting if we also hit the 50 subscribers mark by our one year anniversary so tell your friends about us hit the subscribe button and please help us hit 50 because remember when we hit 50 subscribers we're changing our name we've been keeping it a secret for a while now so help us hit 50 and i think that's it i will see you guys next time and remember don't be afraid to be yourself. Bye.